Hello, good morning. Welcome back to my channel, Isawelli here. We are today doing a beginner's Pilates class. Um, my voice is a little bit gone, so my apologies. <clears throat> I can't speak too loud. I don't know, I just woke up like that. I hope everybody's well. Um, let's go, let's have it, let's do it. All right, we're going to start, actually, sorry. <laughs> we're going to start here in a seated position. The feet, legs are crossed. We're gonna take an inhale and just lengthen that spine. And exhale, just holds it here. And again, inhaling through your nose, lengthen the spine. Exhale gently out through your lips. One more, inhale in through your nose. Exhale out through your lips. Right arm comes up, inhale, exhale. We reach out to the left side. We're gonna look up to the ceiling and push that top shoulder back, back, back. And keep inhaling and exhaling. And try to keep that right knee down away from you. You'll really feel that stretch on your side. Take an inhale, circle through forwards and come back in the center. Left side, inhale, lengthen. Reach up to the ceiling first, then out to the side. Push the top shoulder back, look up to the ceiling. And keep inhaling and exhaling. In through your nose, out through your lips. And we circle, nice. And we're back in the center. We're gonna roll the shoulders back for one, for two, for three, and four. Reverse forward, and one, and two, and three, and four. Arms up, inhale, interlock your fingers, and just lengthen and pull here to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. Release the fingers, run through the spine. Almost like you're diving down. Inhale and then exhale, hands on the knees open. Mm, and gonna arch the back, take your gaze up to the ceiling. One more time. Arms up and take out the fingers and we just pull. Give me a little something here. One and pull. Da, 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 da. Run through the spine. Tuck your chin in, ba -da -da. hold it here. It's almost like a cat stretch. Exhale, hands on the knees, arch, nice. Oh yes, I love this. Hold it here, nice, and we're going to a circle. So this is a nice and big circle here. Again, give me a little something, make it a little groovy, you know, reverse direction. Nice, and we're gonna come back in the center here. From here, we're gonna push, put the hands down on the mat, and we're gonna push our hips forward a little bit. Don't have to go too far, because we're not quite warm just yet, but just opening those hips up and stretching them out. Just a little forward inhale, exhale back down. So I'm not even arching my back or anything, I'm just pushing those hips up, showing them a little bit of love. Exhale. Last one, third one, inhale. So tuck your bum in and then push the hips forward. You could go a little further this time if you want, if you're feeling it. Exhale, slowly release, nice one. From here, right knee on top of the left and smooth transition into our four point kneeling. Let's go, inhale, cat stretch. Exhale, we arch. Inhale, cat stretch. Exhale into a cow. Inhale, cat stretch. Exhale into a cow. Nice. We're gonna stay in the cow here. You're just gonna wiggle your hips for me here a little bit. And then we're gonna push back into your child pose. From here, I want you to stretch your fingers far forward, start rounding through the spine, drop the hips at the front, open the shoulders, exhale, push back. You know how much I love this move, it's such a great one for your spine. I always say this and I will always say this, your spine is super, super important. As we are aging, right? As we're growing, <laughs> as we're aging, it becomes a little stiffer. So you wanna show it a little bit more love and prevent injuries. So you wanna keep it flexible. As Joseph Pilates says, a young and flexible spine is a young body. Something along those lines, he said. I can't remember the exact quote, but 
you want to look after your spine from now whether you're 20 30 40 50 it's never too late 60 70 to get it going so get it moving my friend and then these feel so good anyway Mmm, yummy, yummy. Last one, let's drop the hips at the front here. Open the shoulders and just hold it. Mmm. Just feel that stretch in the hips. While we're waiting here, you're gonna give me head to the right, to the left. Da da da. Nice and slow. Shoot. Shoulders back. Ba ba da da. Shoot. Shoot. Ba da da. Da da da. Shoot. Da da da. Middle inhale. Exhale, we push back up. From here, a little circle of the hips. Mm, and then you get the whole torso involved. Mm, nice. Last little cat stretch. Tuck it in. And exhale. We're back to a neutral spine. Let's do this. All right, so feet open, hips width apart. Same for the knees, belly button is in, the neck is long. If this is your first class on the channel, I do invite you to go and check out all the other beginners Pilates videos, the do's and don'ts, to really, really understand the technique so you can make the most out of the classes here. So pull your belly button in, toes are pointed. We're just gonna start, we're taking the leg up and down, nice and slow. What we're doing here, we're mobilizing the lower back. So we don't want any movement, right? We wanna build strength in that back. We wanna build strength in the core to protect that back. So what you want to avoid is this. Right? So just that, inhaling and exhaling. Leg is super extended. It's almost like someone is literally pulling that leg away from you. So it's lengthened. You're lifting that leg with so much intention. We're inhaling and exhaling. Give me three more. Hold the last one here. You're gonna flex the foot and point. Nice and slow, flex. Flex and point. Let's go. And flex and point. Boom. Zoom. Bring it in, nice one. Straight onto the other side, lengthen, left leg, belly button in, lower back nice and flat, back of the neck lengthen, looking straight down to your mat. Inhaling and exhaling. Yeah, hold it here, let's go. Flex and point. So when you're flexing, you're lengthening the back of your legs. So really go for it. Push that heel away from you. While you're doing that, remember not to have too much weight, too far forward on your hands. Shift it back, find your center. And keep inhaling and exhaling here. Flex and hold. Point your toes, bring it in, nice one. Push up again into your cat stretch, take a big inhale. Exhale out into your cow. And then let's push back, let's take a second. Come into your child pose, have your hands facing the ceiling. Now we're back up into that full point kneeling again. Nice and easy. We're simply going to move the arms this time. So you're going to bring the arm up here, palm facing down, and slowly bring it back here, palm facing up. Right? So inhale nice and slow. Exhale. Super slow. Nothing else is moving but that arm. And we'll bring it down the other side. You're really using your core here to stabilize your body. A 
last two. Now we'll bring it down, nice one. Toes into the mat. We're gonna do a quick bear hug here. We're gonna bring the knees off the mat for a few seconds. And when you're ready, knees off the mat. Give me 10, nine, eight. So they're only off the mat a few inches. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Big inhale, in through your nose. Exhale out through your lips. Check your body weight, it's nice and, and centered, not too far forward, not too far back. Let's try again. Knees off the mat for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, nice one. Pushing back into our downward dog. Press the heels into the mat. And take a few seconds here to really stretch it out. You're pushing your belly back towards your thighs and lengthening away from your hands, grounding those heels as far down as you can. Don't worry if your knees are slightly bent here, that's fine, that's totally okay. Keep inhaling and exhaling, you're just really getting a nice and deep stretch out of this. From here, we're gonna walk our feet to the front of the mat. I'm gonna shake the hands off here. Bend the knees and slowly come on up halfway, right here, and then roll back down again. Let's work on that spine a little bit. Then again, rolling back up, coming up here, halfway, inhale, exhale. All the way down. So this is a great one if you have back pain, if you wake up in the morning feeling a little stiff, you just do this a few times. Don't have to go all the way up. You do that a few times and then you go all the way up when you're feeling a little bit sort of more awake in the spine. And then let's go back down again. One vertebra at a time. We're gonna stay here, just bend one knee at a time. Get into those legs a little bit. So I have a program, a beginner's Pilates program, and we work a lot on the spine. We work on everything. Yeah? It's a six weeks program. Work on everything. We're opening up that program again in May. So the link will be in the description box. I invite you to check it out and join the wait list. So you're the first one to hear. It's an excellent program. You can read all the testimonials from the past students. Um, we've had two rounds. The, first, the second one is finishing right now, actually. It's the last week. All right. <clears throat> Bend the knees. Bring your hips all the way down. Hands by your side. And sit your bum down. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> sorry, my throat. Oh God, it hurts so bad as well. Hands on the hips, lengthen the spine, take a big inhale. Exhale, crumble down, boom. <sighs> inhale, lengthen. Exhale, crumble down, boom. <sighs> inhale, lengthen. Exhale, crumble down. <sighs> Last one, lengthen, we hold it here. Here, we're gonna roll away halfway. So as you roll away, you're rolling your hips away right here. Exhale, we're gonna bring it in. Inhale, roll away. Exhale, forward. Inhale, roll away. Exhale, forward. Inhale, roll away. Exhale. And roll away. Exhale. Last one, roll away, hold it here, and release your arms, palms facing up. We're gonna hold it here, inhaling and exhaling. Really pull that belly button in. You're on a curved spine here. And we're gonna roll a little further back, keep pulling that belly button in. Really challenge that core strength here. A little further if you can, again. <laughs> Keep breathing, keep inhaling and exhaling. Exhale, slowly roll forward. So let's do that again. And roll away. Exhale, forward. Lengthen the spine and roll away, round through. Exhale, forward. And we lengthen, da parada. Exhale, forward. Je parada. Exhale, forward. Last one, and we hold belly button in, arms up. And we roll a little further. We hold for five, four, three, two. 
a little further again and we hold again five seconds inhaling and exhaling exhale forward nice one arch the back heads up to the ceiling nice and we're gonna roll back here we're gonna put the elbows down on the mat we're gonna keep the spine fairly straight this time so belly button in if you've got a ball or a blanket you can put it onto your lower back I'm gonna bring the legs here into tabletop. So I'm super lengthened, my shoulders are away from my ears, but I'm not arching my back here, right? I'm not like this, I'm not like that. I'm just nice and straight, right? Using my core to support my back. Again, put a little something here if you need that support. <clears throat> Sorry. And we flex. Let's go. Pull your belly button in. And point para and flex and point. Hold it here. Belly button in. Pull it in. Pull it in. Pull it in. All right. I'm gonna tap the toes down for one and up on the right for two and up on the right for three for four, for five, and six, and seven, and eight. Nice. Both legs down from here. Push your hips up into that bridge. Stay on your elbows. Wiggle, wiggle. Come back down. Strengthen your core. Pull the belly button in. Lower back is protected. Legs into tabletop. Let's go on the left for eight. Exhale, seven. Exhale, and six. Exhale, la la la, shoop, tap, para, and three, and two, and one, nice, we down, and we up here again, mm, we can release the head a little bit here, and we bring it down, nice one, from here just slide down, bring your knees into your chest, massage your back, rock side to side, and drop your feet down on the mat. Arms by your side, run through your spine, inhale into your bridge. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale into your bridge. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale into your bridge, hold it. Exhale, bring your arms up. You can also keep them down if you feel like it's a bit hard to find your balance and stability here. Just really tighten up your glutes for me, so engage them. Lengthen the lower back in, tuck. Tuck the bum in. Wiggle your heels up and down and up. Boom, para, para. And down, keep going. Keep going, keep your hips nice and high, bum tucks in. Hold it up here, push your hips up a little higher. When it pulls the knees in, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Make sure you're inhaling and exhaling. Seven, eight. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Hold, hips up, hold it here. Inhaling and exhaling. And slowly release down, well done. Bring your knees into your chest again, squeeze, squeeze. Circle your, uh, your feet around a little bit, there's a little tension in there. And we push into our tabletop. We're gonna finish with a couple of tabletop exercises. So holding it here, we're gonna lengthen the right leg into a diagonal. We're gonna bring the arms up. We're gonna hold the legs here, just the arms are going back, not too far into a diagonal. Exhale, forward, diagonal. Inhale, back, diagonal. Exhale, forward. So I want you to break some resistance in those arms, so make sure they're not kind of like flopping around, kind of like this, right? Like, yeah, you wanna hold them nice and strong, almost like maybe you're holding weights.
and we're back into tabletop. Other side, extend the leg. Let's go. Legs are not moving. If we can, we keep them there. Right leg is in tabletop. Left one extended into a, a diagonal. Pressing that lower back gently into the mat. Nice. Back in the middle, we hold the tabletop. Arms down, we're gonna flex the feet. We're gonna move both legs at the same time, but if it feels a little too challenging for you, just do one leg. This is our last exercise. We're gonna reach the legs down, halfway inhale. Exhale up, and again. If you're a little bit more advanced, then you can go all the way. You go all the way down, tap the heels, and then you come back. Let's go for three more. <clears throat> Last one. Nice one. Bring your knees into your chest. Well done. Mm, drop your feet down. Give me a lovely bridge here to stretch it all out. Drop your arms back behind you. Just push your hips up into that bridge. And then you can pull on each side by pushing each hip away from you. And feel that stretch, that lovely little stretch. Take a big inhale. Exhale slowly, slowly, slowly. Bring it down. Nice, you can stay here if you have a little bit more time. Just drop your knees out, have a moment for yourself. If you don't, just cover it up. <laughs> Thank you so much for moving with me. Don't forget to check out my Beginner's Pilates program. It's a six weeks program. It's a lovely program. Uh, we get to hang out for six weeks. And yeah, check it out. The link will be in the description box below. And I will see you for the next class. Bisous.